Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've like actually filmed a sit down video. So I'm so excited to be filming one today. Hopefully the camera is in focus one and two that is like the right angle because my viewfinder is broken, my camera's broken, so I can't actually see what I'm filming. So we're just kind of hoping for the best here because if this whole video turns out blurry, I will be very upset. Basically, I'm gonna be doing a Q&A today. It has been a couple of months since I've uploaded on YouTube, so I just kind of wanted to update you guys on my life and what kind of my thoughts are with YouTube, where I've been, what I've been doing, like, everything like that. I asked you guys over on my Instagram to ask me some questions, so I'm just gonna go through these and answer them. I'm gonna actually check this clip right now and make sure it's in focus before I go any further, and then I'll get into it. Okay, I just checked the footage, and I feel like it looks fine. I got my Starbucks. Let's get into the video. I'm just gonna start with, like, the most, the reason I'm filming this video. Basically, where have I been? Why haven't I posted on YouTube? I think February was the last time I posted, so it's been about two months since I posted and honestly there's not really a reason for it it's not like I just decided I didn't want to film videos or anything anymore my main main reason honestly is my camera it's just so hard to operate on this camera because I can't tell what I'm filming I can't tell if it's like working properly yeah it's just like really difficult and unmotivating one of my priorities is to go to Best Buy and look at cameras I asked a few like influencer friends that I know do YouTube what cameras they use I don't love the camera I have now another question I got asked was what camera I have and I have the Canon G7X Mark two i've had this camera for like five or six years probably like i've had this camera for a long time so it's definitely overdue and this camera worked so well for me like it did its job so i'm really happy with the purchase of this camera but i don't know if i would repurchase it necessarily just because the one thing that really bugs me on the camera is the focus and i feel like when you're filming youtube videos if stuff's not in focus, it's just so frustrating. But I do love the size of this camera. It's literally about, it's not even as big as my phone. It's like this big. So it's so nice to just be able to throw it in your purse and stuff. One of my tasks is to get a new camera because it's just necessary for what I do. Yeah, so that's kind of why I haven't been posting on YouTube. Yeah, I'm excited to hopefully get back into YouTube. And then to kind of go hand in hand with that, I have been asked like, are you gonna be posting regularly on YouTube? And while I would love to post regularly on YouTube, I don't wanna say that just because I feel like like I used to be so good about posting regularly on YouTube. It's just a lot harder like I said So I don't want to say I'm going to but I want to try to yeah I also just I feel like I love vlogging and doing like vlogging like my trips and like little events Like when we went to like the lantern festival and like things like that That's what I love filming and editing and it's not like I do those things daily I feel like my my daily life is just like kind of boring like when I'm just like sitting at home Like if I'm doing like a beach day or something, it's fun Sometimes I feel like I'm the worst vlogger like when we went to St. Pete on our girls trip I meant to vlog one of the days and I just forgot like I started filming in the morning and then I never filmed again and that also I think is just partly to do with my camera issues so I want to post regularly but it'll just be a matter of like posting stuff I really love and instead of just like posting to get a video up if that makes sense hopefully that makes sense also can we talk about how Starbucks took away raspberry syrup. Literally so stupid. So I've been getting a pink drink because it's just not the same getting the refresher without the raspberry. Somebody said, does it get mentally draining to be an influencer sometimes? I feel like I have the best job ever and I'm literally so grateful for it every single day. So I don't wanna say it gets draining, but I definitely think, think everyone, no matter what job you're doing, no matter how much you love it, you have days where you just like want to be lazy and don't want to get things done, even though you need to. I don't think I necessarily get like drained from it, but I definitely have days where I'm just like not productive or feeling like doing much. Okay, another video I've been getting asked so much and getting comments on my YouTube videos is when am I going to post playlist videos? Am I posting a playlist video again soon? Are you still going to do your monthly drive with me's? And I love filming those first off and I do film those like solely for you guys I don't get paid on them or anything and so I definitely want to get back into making them I don't think I've filmed one since November which is crazy because I have actually filmed multiple drive with me's fun fact but they just never got edited 
so they never went up. I filmed a Christmas drive with me back in December, like to Christmas music, to my Christmas playlist, and it just never went up because I didn't have the time to edit it, and then I was on a cruise for like 15 days, so that never went up because Christmas was passed at that point and then I filmed a drive with me I want to say in February and again it just never got edited so yes I want to get back into posting drive with me's because I know you guys love them so much and they're fun to make the reason I haven't been filming them and even if you go on my Spotify I don't even have monthly playlists right now is because I haven't been making a playlist because I've been only listening to Taylor Swift and Morgan Wallen so Morgan Wallen's album released in like end of February I want to say and so I was listening to that for literally like a month straight and then we were able to get airs tour tickets to the Taylor Swift airs tour if you know me you know I struggled so much because we didn't initially get them at the pre-sale and so I thought we weren't going but then we were able to get them Ticketmaster like sent us a thing and we got tickets we went to the show it was amazing I'll talk about that more but I've just literally only been listening to Taylor Swift for the past like two months so I haven't made a playlist and I need to get back into making like my monthly playlist but that's the reason one there hasn't been playlist videos the past like month and two I don't have any playlists on Spotify that are recent this is literally if you go on my Spotify this is like my recents it's just all Taylor Swift I've been listening to like all the Taylor's version playlist people make and then the Ares tour set list I was listening to for so long I feel like those are like the main questions about YouTube. Somebody asked, how is spending time with Allie? If you don't know, my best friend Allie came to visit me in Florida this past like week. She left on Friday and it's currently a Sunday, but she was here for 10 days and it was so fun having her here. I didn't film anything from when she was here and I know like you OG people are probably like, you should film something. Again, it's just like the camera thing. But yeah, she came here and we did Molly Brooke Allie and I, Jamie was unable to come. We went on a like mini girls trip down to Jupiter for four days, right like after she had gotten here. So we went to Jupiter and that was fun. It was pretty chill. We were just like at the beach every day and that was pretty much it. And then we came back um, and just had a bunch of like chill beach days here pretty much we went shark tooth hunting all that fun stuff we did a girls night out with everyone at um an italian restaurant and like dressed up which was super fun but yeah it was so nice being able to see her because i haven't seen her since my brother's wedding which was in like june how did you become an influencer any advice for those aspiring to be that love you oh, thank you love you too i always wanted to do this if that makes sense like from middle school to like high school i just like always dreamed of like like, I grew up just watching, like, Aspen Ovard and, like, Bethany Moda and all those, like, people. And I was just like, I wish I could do that. That looks so fun. And so I just, like, always grew up watching YouTube, wanting to start a YouTube channel. So YouTube is definitely, like, where I started. And then I just branched out to Instagram and TikTok and all those other apps, like, after that. Something I always wanted to do, and I feel like I tell this to a lot of people, if you're starting influencing just because you want to make it a job, you're starting for the wrong reasons versus if you're starting because you just love posting and it turns into something eventually because like for me I never well I like hoped that this could be something I could make into like a reality like Aspen Ovard and like all these like people I watched but I didn't know how realistic of a goal that was so like for me to just be doing this that's why I say like now it's just like my dream job and I feel so grateful so I would definitely just say just like start posting and literally not care like just post what you want and I feel like that's basic advice but like it's the best advice just post what you want and be consistent what's it like living in a vacation every day I got that question and then I got what part of Florida do you live in and what's the reality of living there on my Instagram I think people get kind of confused sometimes where in Florida I live just because I am like constantly like doing little girls trips and things I love living in Florida I've lived here for almost two years now which is crazy it'll be two years in the end of July but I live in St. Augustine Florida Jacksonville same thing like that area and more like northeastern Florida I love it here um I definitely if I was going to move like somewhere one I love the like Gulf Coast because the water is just so nice over there but I also love Jupiter the water is literally like powery down there and I'm obsessed with it and that's why we always go there so often because like me and my friends are just obsessed with Jupiter yeah I live in St. Augustine though I really like it it's like a small beach town and it's not super crowded like Tampa or anything like that it's just like nice and it kind of gives you like East Coast vibes over here like South Carolina like that type of thing that's kind of what St. Augustine's more like 
like versus like Tampa and like Siesta Key and those ones. I love it here and I just love living by the beach so much. I grew up in California in like the valley so there was like not much like we had like the lakes and then it was like an hour to the beach and like an hour to the mountains. I just love it so much and this is just like where I've always wanted to live was in Florida so I'm so grateful and obviously the reality of living here is you're not at the beach 24 7 it might look like I'm at the beach literally like every second of my life but I'm not but I do go to the beach a decent amount I get a lot of questions on Instagram on like how I'm able to go to the beach so much and like all that stuff I don't know if some people just don't realize but social media is my job so kind of going to the beach kind of like is my job me and my friends always joke about it we are working right now we are at the beach working like shooting photos making videos like that type of thing which again the best job ever so yeah that's why i'm able to go to the beach as often as i am versus if you were someone who lived in florida and like had like a nine to five or like you went to school or something you're not gonna be able to go to the beach probably quite as often as someone like me but you can still find time on the weekends and the afternoons, sunset, sunrise, all that. Okay, I got this question quite a bit. Um, are you talking to any boys, eye on anyone? Do you have a boyfriend? I feel like I get this comment like every Q&A. Are you in a relationship? All this stuff, and I'm not in a relationship or anything right now. I'm still single, so yeah. <laughs> Where is your favorite place to shop for bikinis? I always tag my bikinis on my Instagram, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. Normally it's like in a couple slides in in the post. It's not normally on the first immediate slide. Sometimes it is. But um, my favorite are Kulani Kini's Black Bow, Triangle, um, Lenny Swims, Swim Sunny Honey. Oh, Monday Swimwear is super nice. Definitely pricier swimsuits but you get really good quality from all those brands. What filters do you use when you take photos? Um, I also get this question so much in my DMs. I edit my photos using my presets, which are linked down below in my description box, and they're also linked in like all my Linktree bios. But yeah, I created presets and I launched them about a year ago, and you guys seem to have loved them. I'm so thankful for like all the support and people who have bought the presets and just like love them so much. I haven't actually received like one person being like I hate these like I wish I didn't buy them so that's just so nice what is the coolest thing you've gotten from the ocean I love whenever I find like sand dollars and one time I found a starfish they were both alive so I put them back but I've definitely some of my favorite things I found are like those little like conch shells I found a bunch of them when we were up in Panama City Beach and they're just like so pretty and I also love looking for shark teeth. Another misconception, is it super humid? Does it always rain in Florida? I feel like people don't realize it's really only humid in Florida. I would say from like April it starts to get a little bit humid but still not bad and then like June, July, August are probably like the worst months because it rains the most in the summer. We barely get rain in the winter. And even in the summer, either you get like a full blown day of rain or you get like maybe like an afternoon shower. So it's really not bad. How was the Taylor Swift concert? So many people are asking. It was literally amazing. I can't wait to post the vlog because I did vlog it on my crappy little camera. So I'm excited to post that video. I don't know exactly what footage I got. So hopefully it came together. I know I have so much good iPhone footage. So either way, I'll be inserting like some of the iPhone footage. Basically, I was just like switching off filming from like my phone to my camera at the concert. So I'm excited to see what footage I got on my camera of like her singing songs because it's probably songs that I like didn't get on my phone. That vlog will definitely be coming. I just wanted to get this vlog kind of up first just to explain like where I've been. Okay, this will probably be the last question I'm gonna answer just because I feel like I've been talking for a bit. Any summer plans that you're excited about? Currently don't really have any like set in stone plans. I wanna do lots of boat days. You know me, you know I love a good boat day. Um, just like more little girls trips. We wanna go back to like St. Pete, Tampa. So that'll definitely be probably a trip we do. Um, I would love to go back to Panama City Beach as well. It was just like so beautiful up there. I loved it up there. Like 30A, Alley's Beach, all that. It was just like so nice. I thought about possibly going to California so I could still go there. We'll see. I kind of talked to Allie about that while she was here and she was like, there's just not much to do there. My mom and I were talking about possibly doing a cruise in August or September, which would be so fun. We have a cruise booked for November. So yeah, just like a bunch of little girls trips and things like that. Luckily, I live in Florida, so for summer, it's just so nice. I just love living here. Like being able to travel to like all these other little beach towns is literally my favorite thing. 
it's just like the best thing ever living here yeah so nothing really set in stone but i hope you guys enjoyed this little life update video kind of like where i've been what i've been doing and that type of thing just because i know i have been off my youtube grind but make sure you guys follow me on tiktok i post on my new tiktok a lot more than my main tiktok actually i just like i feel like the audiences are very different and so the people on my main tiktok have followed it obviously for years and years and i love them so much but my content style has changed a lot since i started that tiktok and so when i made my new tiktok and started posting things like i really love and like more beachy style content it's just like a lot easier to post over there so yeah i love my new tiktok um it's literally at new grace taylor yeah that's where i post on tiktok the most and then obviously i'm always posting on instagram so make sure you guys follow me on both of those platforms but i'm excited to get this video up for you guys hopefully i can get up by like wednesday or saturday and then following this video will be the eras tour vlog so i'm also so excited for that video but Thank you guys so much for being patient with me and just like supporting me because I feel like I have such sweet followers. You hear about people that have like such mean followers sometimes and I'm just like, I have the best supporters ever. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope I was able to answer some of your guys' questions about like where I've been and all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video, which will be the Eras Tour vlog. Bye guys. Oh, there's some guy walking by and I'm posing for my camera laughing at me this is so awkward okay now he's just standing in front of my car this is definitely gonna be like a blooper or something he's literally just staring at me okay well he's like looked at my camera like five times so it's like obvious that i'm filming so i'm just gonna keep bye